Hi friends, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel and thank you for subscribing. Today I'm going to do some of these nail strips. I've done this video a couple different times and then thought it was so boring or awful. I never posted them. So let's see if like third time's a charm or something. Also feeling very shiny today. <laughs> not sure what's up with that. Like really, does it not look like I just have Vaseline? Should I go powder myself? Is that going to be distracting? Hmm. I just put on those like nice cinnamide glow drops. I think it has to be like just the new spot I'm filming. <laughs> okay, sorry, <clears throat> sidetracked. So have yourself some nail strips and usually they come with a file or bring out your own file. And I like to have some cuticle nippers and a clear nail polish to go over top. And I started to peel off my old ones and thought, I should talk to you about that too because they do say just to use like regular nail polish remover and take it off but i really just peel it off i'm sure that it's not quite as good for your nails um because maybe it's taking a top layer but i really can just very easily take and pop it off i usually try to remember to put a little drop of cuticle oil on all of my nails before i start this peeling off process just because then I can also push back my cuticles a little bit um, after I'm done. Then you will have to remember to wash your hands before you do the nail stickers though, or they won't stick very good if they still have a lot of oil on them. Um, this brand that I had on from last time, and I only kept this part of the packaging, so I can't even tell you what brand it was. I'm feeling like maybe it was Dashing Diva. But they stayed on so well. It could have been Color Street. Sorry, I don't remember. But I think it's been well over two weeks. And um, I should have showed you better. They really, the only reason I'm taking them off is because I want to do these pretty blue snowflakes. Because I didn't think that they looked too bad. And my nails grow so slowly. I didn't even think they were that far out from the bottom. Anyway, then I take my cuticle pusher and push back all my cuticles. I'll have to speed through this. And then I'll get up and wash my hands. Okay, I'm back. When I got up to wash my hands, I also tried to do a little powder, so I'm a little less shiny for you. I didn't want to be distracting. Okay, so I have always thought that other people seem to say they did this much faster than I can, but I did realize part of the reason is because I was being so cheap and trying to get, since my nails are so short, cut them each in half and then be able to use them another time. However, not all nails strips then would save anyway. So I'd be spending all that time trying to save the nail. And then when I would go back to try to use it, it wouldn't be usable anyway. And one other thing I just want to say quickly is I do wish that my nails were longer because certain ones like this one, for instance, you know, I can either pick to have the snowflake or pick to have this little emblem because my nail is certainly not long enough to get, you know, both in there. You are loved even if I don't pet you 100% of the time. Where was I? Hmm. Okay. And then another thing that I think other people must just do faster than me is be able to, you know, pick which one is their nail size and go with it easier because I also think sometimes I spend way too long trying to decide which nail is the right size. So we're going to start. Um, one important tip I think is to do your thumb and first finger last because you're using those the most to take the strips off and put them on. Um, so if you've already got your nail strips on those, I feel like you're kind of messing up them when you're putting on the other ones. So I always start and do like these three and then these three and then come back and do these two and then these two. Okay. I think the smallest size is going to work for my pinky. I've decided I want to do this on the bottom so that it mostly shows instead of this because one or the other has to get cut off. Then you just kind of, on this one, and these are, you know, a cheap set just from Shein. I kind of like that the whole thing is got this one plastic wrap on it. Because some of the more expensive ones, they're individually covered, but they're so hard for me to pop off. That's another thing that will just take me forever trying to get that top plastic coating off of them. So this one should go a little faster. 
And I am noticing they're much more clear than I thought they were going to be when I first looked at them and thought they were going to be, you know, very blue. It almost makes me think I should have tried painting them blue or something first, but I'm not. And, okay. Then this is the part you just kind of bend it over, take your nail file, file down on it. And then this strip, I think it seems to be working pretty easily. Sometimes I feel like they want to bend weird on the corners and not stay in place, but this seems to be fine. And then it kind of just breaks away and you peel it off. Again, this would have been the part that before I would have felt guilty just throwing out that other half because I would have tried to save it for another time. And then just file the little tip, make sure it's down good and it's in place. It focuses. Then again, find your size that is appropriate. Pull it off, put it down as close to the nail bed as you can, press. And honestly, these from Shein are, are adhering to my nail a lot better than some of the more expensive ones have. Bend it over, file across it, peel it off. Make sure it's down good if you need to file any more do it. Otherwise, I think that's good. I do wish they were more blue. The next one, peel it down. I think you're getting the gist and I could probably stop showing you each time. So I'll do the rest off camera and come back and pick up from there. Um, honestly, these from Shein, as far as fitting my nail and going on smoothly, have been working really good. Um, as far as doing it quick for me, I get some of the Dashing Diva ones, they just don't want to bend over quite as easily. And I feel like there's like on the edges, they're like these stiff little pokey things that don't want to lay down. These from Shein are laying down very nicely. Okay, they're done. I honestly am super impressed with these Shein nail strips. They went on, I think, easier than any I've ever tried. The only thing I wish is that they looked blue work because they definitely just look kind of like a, I don't know, a soft gray. <laughs> um, but I still think they're pretty. So then I do take just a clear nail polish. Any of them is fine. Um, one time I got the Manny Me nail strips and they came with a top coat. So um, it seems to have just a, a little fine bit of glitter in it. And so I thought that might be pretty over these instead of just a matte finish or a plain finish. So I'm going to do that just, just like you would painting your regular nails and let them dry. And then I do usually try to not to get my nails wet for several hours. Like it wouldn't be a good time to then go, you know, decide you want to wash your hair, take a bath or something. Um, that's really all there is to it. Okay. Um, I don't think they're going to look any different once they're painted. So we'll just paint one. <laughs> And see, it doesn't. So we're going to pretend we're completely done. And thanks very much for joining. Again, thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.